congratulations. You finally got your hands on that JDC World Championship. Relief, delight, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I, feel, I just feel so great about it. Uh, 20, 2019, I got beat in the last eight. Last year, I fell short in the semi-final, and now third time lucky I've won it. You've won many titles in your young career, but is this the one you wanted more than anything? Yeah, uh, last last week, two weeks ago, I won the Boys Masters. I've won a few WDF Youth Tours, but well, obviously this is the best about. Still a tender age, but do you feel you're ready now to, to break through in, into the mainstream darts? I think I can give everyone a good game. I've been, been at Lakeside, got to the last 32. Um, but yeah, I think I could just give anyone a game and I can't wait to start development tours and I'll have a crack at the UK Open qualifiers as well. On the development tours, obviously we've seen so many great players come through that system. Do you want to emulate them and do you think you can go and do real damage on the development tour this year? Yeah, obviously I'm still so young, 15, but people say I need time to get the experience, but I honestly think I've got the experience already and I think I could just go on to the development and so I do quite well. And a word on JDC, does it just show that the system and the product works when it produces so many great players like yourself? Yeah, I'd say JDC is the best youth for darting players. They've brought in the foundation tour for obviously young kids who are just getting into darts and obviously the advanced tour where kids have been playing for four or five years and obviously the better players are on the advanced tour. But the foundation tour, there's some players on there and they'll get their name soon and about. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously this is this is the one I wanted most. Obviously I said last date in a semi-final, so getting to the final in Gibraltar I was just like just, just go on the stage, enjoy it and I, I enjoyed it. It's been a brilliant year for you, how would you assess how it's gone? Start to pinch yourself at something? Yeah, obviously I started off with the Isle of Man early on and then Lakeside and then I went to Welsh Open and uh, Ilfracombe and Breen Sands and everywhere and I've qualified for Lakeside again next year by winning the Welsh Open but I think this year has just been the best year of my life. You've already appeared on the Sally Polly stage but I guess the aim now is to be back here in a few years playing in the PDT World Championship. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to obviously be on Sky. It couldn't be streamed today, which is unfortunate, but I'm sure there was many watching on Dark Connect. Have you set yourself any other aims for the next couple of years? Uh, I'd say development tour next year. I'd love to, love to try and get the top two to get a tour card. Obviously, my birthday is after Q school, so I miss it. And then uh, I'll have a go at the UK Open qualifiers as well. There's a lot of anticipation and expectation on your shoulders because of the standards you've been setting, but you seem to be taking it on your stride. How do you put that to the back of your mind? I just see how the practice goes and then obviously I settle really well when I'm playing someone and yeah, I just settle. Thank you.